101, you know who this is, Zaltone, and welcome to another absolutely fantastic day. I am excited. Why am I excited? It has nothing to do with this. <laughs> but today, um, you know, it's getting that time of year. It's starting to get cooler outside, and it is the time to break out the space heater. And I'm very thankful that I have been sent a Vornado space heater to give my absolute 100% guaranteed honest review on. Let's unbox this bad boy and check it out. Ha! It is starting to get cooler here in Northern Virginia. Let me tell you, it really is. And the brother don't care that much for the cold. I spent enough time in upstate New York freezing my tail off. Uh, I'm good. So it looks like we got our manual, some warnings, and something we never read. No, I'm not going to throw that. I'm just joking. <laughs> and I mean, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot to it. I mean, it's just a space heater, but it's, it is a kind of interesting looking heater. And it's very small. And believe it or not, that's pretty much all that's in the box. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way. I didn't do anything with that. And unwrap this. Just tied a knot in the back. Oh, and I had it sitting on the side. Vornado. Now I've never ever heard of this company before until receiving this is interesting so there you go it's pretty interesting okay okay so from the back that's that's crazy it actually looks like a turbine uh, for a, a jet airplane which I think is uh, is, is, is pretty cool I kind of like that look but <clears throat> I don't know if what what kind of difference that makes I, don't, I have no idea what that means but um, <laughs> if it's going to make a difference but essentially it's supposed to from the diagrams and, and whatnot that i've seen um on the box it's actually the way it circulates the air um it's supposed to basically spin the air in some way and, and so the air will come out and actually fill the room um this seems to be the level or or i guess it's the fan speed is what i'm assuming and then you got just a toggle on off switch. Um, I mean, it's plastic, but it seems to be pretty, pretty well made. Um, not my idea of the, of what, or what I would think the uh, best toggle switch, you know. Uh, this is a, like a Radio Shack toggle switch. It's crazy. But uh, overall, it seems to be well made. The one thing that, and, it's, and I can actually see inside of it, I can see the coils inside, the heater coils, uh, heater elements. So essentially what this, this little heater is, is there is a, um, the toggle switch basically turns it on. Um, you got a low and a high setting and then this little knob back here is actually a thermostat now how that works I guess if you want it more more hot it turns there uh, cooler it you, you don't it doesn't really give you anything so it'll automatically turn on and off based on what you set it on and I guess you can set it and if, if the room that you actually have it in is warm enough then uh, or not warm enough when it goes off you can just turn you know turn it just a little bit and get it to start running again and then you know just keep doing that until it runs so there's a couple of things that I want to do one of them uh, in this video and like I said it's pretty neat I, I, I'm excited to, to check it to really test it out but um, what uh, so there's three three things that I want to know personally anytime I buy a space heater one of them is how loud is it when it's running because I work from home, I'm often, you know, working on or on phone calls and whatnot. And 
uh, if I have a heater running in a room, I want to make sure that the noise, that whoever it is that I'm talking to on the phone is not going to be hearing the noise from the heater, right? Um, the second thing is how much power does this thing actually use? <laughs> well, actually, the second thing is does it actually heat the room? And after that, how much power is this thing using? I can't see this working for anything larger than a bedroom, honestly. Um, and I don't really care that much for the thermostat. The one thing that I do notice about this, and this is the thing. Now imagine, uh, and I haven't looked at the manual yet, but I imagine if it tilts over, it will um, go off. Most do, but I don't see anything on this heater that would cause a problem if it did tip over. So if it fell over on the side. Um, there's nothing about it that would actually catch on fire or cause a flame. So it may or may not go off, but we'll, sh we'll test that out as well. So let's go ahead and got this, I've got it, got it plugged in. Uh, no, I do have it here, uh, the microphone here, so that you can, uh, you'll be able to hear it running. But um, I'm going to actually test. I've got a, um, I'm actually going to set my phone up here to test and see just how loud it actually is. So let's go to my decibel meter. So I have my little decibel meter here. So the one that I use, in case you're wondering, and I'll, I'll link it up in the description, is called uh, Decibel X Pro. I put out, uh, as I'm talking, it's basically saying that at, at the level that I'm speaking at, it's actually hitting about 80 decibels. So as I'm speaking, it's hitting about 80 decibels. And so what we're going to do is go ahead and turn this bad boy on and then we'll see what kind of noise level it is. And I'm actually going to turn it on low first. And I'm going to stop talking just so I can see how this thing registers. So it's registering about 67 decibels. So it's registering between 60 and about 67 decibels. I'm going to turn it up. And so it doesn't matter. With that, now what I'm realizing is this switch does not control the fan. The fan blows at the exact same temperature. What this switch is actually controlling is um, the level of heat that's coming off, off of it. And, I, and, and with my hand sitting here, I can't, I don't have anything to measure the actual temperature, but it is pretty warm air coming out. Um, and I can see this possibly heating up a room pretty quickly. So one of the things I'm also going to do is I'm going to put it on my, my, my voltage tester or my voltage um, and I'm going to see how much power this thing is actually pulling out. Um, and what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to leave it on there for a little while just to see and then we'll take a look and see what the uh, what the power outage is for this thing. So yeah, so it does seem pretty quiet. There's not a whole lot to it. I mean, no bells and whistles. I can't say a whole lot about it. It's just quiet. I've got it on high right now. Um, the fan comes on at the exact same temperature. The only thing I haven't tested is, yes, it shuts off if it's tipped over. So now we know that happens. Um, and, and that's it. Um, we know that the knob in the back Again, is a thermostat, and, and this switch only um, really controls the amount of heat this, that the, the coals are actually putting out. So that's pretty much it. I, I mean, I really don't have a whole lot more to say on it. The, 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 the major test or the best test will be actually placing this in a room and just seeing how well it heats the room. Uh, at this point, um, it is starting to get cooler here. 
where I live at, uh, <laughs> in Northern Virginia. However, not cool enough that the rooms in our house are actually cool enough enough that I can really test just how well it puts out the heat. But what I will do is, um, if you check back in this video in the description later on, I will actually um, let you know. But I'm telling you, this is putting out really good, a really good amount of heat. I have to say, it, I, 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 I expect this to do very well. And if the power rating, and with the amount of power that it's using, yeah, this is this is an awesome little little heater. And if you wanted to direct it. Um, put it and direct it. It does tilt back and forth just a little bit Not much travel there But I have to say this is a pretty nice little heater. I mean it seems to be very well made to clean it The only thing it says in the manual essentially is to, to use a vacuum cleaner with a brush attachment to clean it um, the other thing is there is another safety feature that, um, you know, sometimes maybe something gets thrown over your heater or whatever and it starts to warm up just a little bit too much. It will automatically, uh, there's a safety feature where it will sh shut itself off if, it's, if it begins to overheat. And um, uh, essentially it should be able to reset just by unplugging it for five minutes and plugging it back in or turning it off for five minutes and letting it cool down and then it, it should start again. So. Yeah, it seems like a pretty well-made little fan. And like I said, if you like, if, you, if you're in the aircraft and stuff like that, you know, I, I just like to look for that purpose. I like the way it looks. Um, and it looks like a turbine for a jet engine. I love that. But, um, well, hope that helped you in some way. I mean, it's not a lot of information. There's not a lot to this thing, honestly. Um, and... If you're interested in checking it out and you want to take a look at one for yourself or even purchase one for yourself, um, all you have to do is check the link in the description below. And of course, if you do purchase one, it does help this channel to grow and I really appreciate it. Um, so hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Stay warm, <laughs> even though it's not getting that cool here yet, but stay warm wherever you are. And I will talk to you again very soon.